Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some Borderlands, the pre-sequel. As you can tell, we're on a pause screen and not where we left off, but that's because of that little blue guy you see there in front of us. And like I said last time, I want to do the challenges as we go through the areas. So uh, we missed everything in Serenity's Waste because for some reason I completely forgot the, about the challenges, even though I talked about them before. We made it there. But anyway, so one of the challenges in this is called Phonically phonically whatever challenged and it's to kill this guy in front of us uh but the thing is he isn't guaranteed to spawn i guess we can start now um but yeah he isn't guaranteed to spawn so that's why i uh actually cleared this entire area a few times over uh, hoping that this guy would spawn, which is also why we're recording, or why I'm recording at currently, because I wanted to play more Borderlands, but I wanted to have the uh, the challenge done on camera. I'm not going to do all the challenges on camera, but for like the area challenges that aren't like necessarily combat related, like we'll try for the. Uh, beating deadlift without um, losing our shields when we go back through that area. Uh, but if we don't get it, I'll just do it off camera. I'm not worried about it. Uh, but yeah, since that guy isn't a guaranteed spawn, I uh, figured we should probably... Or that I, you know... Because if I killed him, then, you know, whatever. So I didn't want to start the video until I knew he was there, and then I didn't want to uh, kill him without recording. So that's why we started at, like, a weird point. But anyway, the other badass rank. Also, as you can tell, Slam Page. I am almost got that, which is kill enemies with slam attacks, because as I was going through killing these guys, it's not hard. So I was just doing this because it... I didn't require ammo. So yeah, I've almost got 200 kills with the slam attack. Got th almost basically 33,000 damage with slam attacks, which is nowhere near max. I want to try and max all this shit out as much as I can. Because um, I never managed it in Borderlands 2. I never, I obviously, I never finished the pre-sequel last time I played it, so I clearly didn't do it then. So I'll probably be doing a bunch of these like in between. Um, just like as we go, obviously some of them I'm not going to grind out in between, uh, like the kill enemies. I mean, I think one of these lost legion infantry, lost legion power suits, that was, um, flame knuckle or whatever. Kill Craig and badasses. So as you can see, I've found two of those so far and I've killed 265 Kragons, which is a lot. But obviously still not. I want to say maybe 500 is going to be like the max tier of that. Uh, but yeah, like those ones there, I'm not going to grind out. I mean, I'll end up grinding out some of them while getting some of the other things. Also, this out with a bang is almost entirely from slam attacks as well. But yeah, stuff like the loot and that. But anyway, other than that, if we go scroll all the way down to the bottom... Uh, yeah, we got phonically challenged, phonically challenged, which is to kill the Kragon, and then discover the three hidden vault symbols, and which is the Cult of the Vault is a challenge that's in pretty much every area. As far as I'm aware, it's in every area anyway. Um, but yeah, like because I, I think I talked about the vault symbols before, where some of them are a lot easier to find than the others. Some of them are really big and obvious, or even just in like areas where it's like, oh, it's hard to get to, but you can still reach them you know which is basically uh this one here that we're going for which is up here you know once you make it to the area it's very obvious uh, it's like that one is very hard i don't know what the hell that noise was though like somebody was talking anyway yeah but yeah, I kept, uh... Warning, entering vacuum. Oh, right. I forgot that we have the, the guy 
guy talking to us. Yeet. Also, go down. Uh, oh, fuck me, that's all the way back up at the top now. I wanted to show you this one because it's absolutely ridiculous already, and it's all, and it's only at like, and I'm only working on like level three of it, I think. Uh, which is this boosted one, which is perform air boost, which is just hit jump again in the air. And look, level three is a thousand of them. And all it is is for that. I, I don't know why it's a thousand. That seemed like an awful lot. Um, but, you know, obviously, as I was doing the slam attacks, I was, you know, boosting up. and Because the higher you are, the more damage the slam does. So, you know. That's why I was, that's how that got. Well, actually at one point I was like 50 away and I was going back to sell my gun. So I actually just stood in the building. So there's the second vault symbol. Um, so I actually just stood in the building and just double jump slam, double jump slam, double jump slam. <laughs> Until I caught the 50 of them. I say in the building because the jump does take extra oxygen. Oxygen levels at 50%. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, the last vault symbol is down here, around here, and bam. And then I also noticed while I was running around that she finished her children's this story. This is deadlift. See deadlift lift. See deadlift who lifts become dead. See how happy this makes Janie? Very happy. So yeah, that's her little book that she wrote about us killing Deadlift. Um, also, it turns out that that one challenge that we got, I the uh, defeat him without using a jump pad, that one's actually missable, as missable as anything else. I mean, once you go into true Vault Hunter mode or ultimate Vault Hunter mode, one or the other, you can reset the playthrough to reset the quests and everything and reset progress so i mean then you can do it again but and you know obviously that one isn't bad because it's right here but there are some later ones that are also technically missable where it's uh kind of shitty if you miss them because obviously it's a lot further into the game so if you re to sort of reset and go back if you fuck it up it's fucked up like there's uh one something about saving turrets and then there's one or two maybe actually there might be two involving a robot which is when i quit playing the game last time because it's fucking bullshit but anyway um it's bullshit to do solo. If you have multiple people, you can do it, and I'll explain more once we get to that point, but yeah, that's why I stopped playing, because I got to a challenge that just was not fucking doable. Uh, but yeah, I also did some achievements. I knocked them off. We'll, I guess, take a look at those. As you can see, I got six now. Uh, so yeah, I killed 100 enemies with Aspis as Athena, killed 100 enemies with Wolf as Wilhelm, although for some reason I had to kill more than 100 with Wolf. I think it was like 108. And I know that because there's uh, the one challenge tracks your kills using your action skill, and I had over 100. Uh, then I also used Wilhelm because, uh, he, like I said, he summons two drones. One is attacking, one is defense, and it also heals you. So I could suffocate for five minutes without dying just by using his drone, and it recharged fast enough to keep me alive. And then I also did the no, the 360 no scope, just because it's annoying to get. And then yeah, that's it. But, but that's what I got in between last part and this part. Uh, the no scope wasn't hard. Uh, I got that one as Athena. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's not really all that hard because even just like the sniper rifle that you get for uh, completing that one quest, getting all the storybooks, it's enough to one shot just like a regular Kragon, like the pebble ones. 
So I mean, it was super easy to get that. Anyway. Alright, we're gonna keep in that. I'm keeping those ones. The rest of these can go. Alright, now to clear out this place and get pick up some more vault symbols and what have you. One of them is uh, critical hits and kills while airborne. Which obviously with uh, with our ability activated is significantly easier. Oh, die, 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 die. Yes. Yeah, there's a few of these challenges that are kind of annoying. I was right though in that the uh, the kill ones, like killing a certain number of enemies and that, uh, they don't seem to be nearly as bad. Like I said, the Kragon one, like I mean that there, it's 200 kills with slam attacks. That's not bad, considering that in the first Borderlands, you it was like get like 10,000 kills. Uh, with like each of the different fucking weapon types if you wanted each one. And, to be, and actually come to think of it, it may have been 12,000. Now that I'm thinking about it. But anyway. We need to get up there. Okay, what are you doing? Just sit and stay. Uh, the claptrap ones that we're supposed to get, I do believe, are uh, yeah. past the lift. I think, anyway. Um, don't fall off. Looking for the next, uh, maybe it's not up here, maybe it's, why can I not walk around this thing? Uh, yeah, I don't know, it must, uh, it must be, it must be 
I don't know which did it, but whatever, either way, they're dead. Nice. I guess when they're standing still like that, it probably would be better for me to switch to the sniper when I use uh, Showdown. I still can't believe just how fast it recharges, like... Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. Uh, I've also started playing Claptrap. But, uh, I haven't yeah. really made it all the way with anywhere with him, because unfortunately, you do need to make it to level 25 with him yeah. just to get enough skill. Ignore my last message. Assassins might actually be kind of useful. Zena's girls cleared out the roads around T-Bone Junction, didn't leave one bandit standing. She asked permission to look for somebody named Jess in the villages nearby, uh, which I granted. Seems like a nice enough kid, which, given what I hear you guys do to the assassins when they're children, is uh, pretty damn impressive. I stopped playing Claptrap. His skills fucking blow chunks, man. Like, my god, are they bad. Like, ah, oh, you get increased this and this. But, you know, then your accuracy goes down. Ah, oh, killing an enemy grants health regen standard skill. Oh, but also every time you kill an enemy, you lose your part of your shield. And it's like, mother... It's like, good lord, why? Oh, is that going to be enough? No. Nope. Also, who the hell is Jess? Like, did she mention her at all when we were playing through that DLC? Zena smiled today. That was kind of creepy. She got back from a recon around 0300, said she had a good lead on this Jess chick she'd been looking for. I just kind of grunted at her. She wouldn't stop talking. All excited. Said they were sisters or something. Said she'd been looking for her since she was a kid. Said that they'd escaped Pandora together once she found her. Like I said, nice enough, kid. Don't screw her over or I'll be pissed. <laughs> Yeah, I can slam back, bitch. Anyway. 
Oh, we got another uh oh gun damage, of course. See, like this here, you know, you kill an enemy, you know? It's just straight. Oh, I think I landed on a barrel when I did my slam. Like I don't, I don't like. I know that Claptrap is supposed to be like kind of like a joke character, but I mean, at the same time, they probably should have made him better. I mean, he is viable, and he does actually have quite a few good skills if you build him correctly. It's just that, like, you know, right off the bat, I feel like he's probably a character that benefits from having, like, specific, like, weapons and, like, weapon shields. Uh, what is the, uh, it gives your character, like, the class mod. That's what it is, the class mod. Uh, I feel like he probably benefits from the, like, has skills and that, that benefit from those, like, an amazing amount. I don't, don't actually know that it's up here. Just kind of assuming. Yeah, there it is. You assholes. What the hell did she do to you to deserve that? You order a code 64 on a village knowing full well her sister live there? For hell's sake, she took out her own sister in all the confusion because you ordered thermals only. You had to tie up that one last loose end just to keep her in the core. So that's what happens when you know too much to leave, but you're too good at your job to die. <sighs> she realized what she'd done, she, uh, she got a little stabby. She's in the brig now. Probably ship her back to Atlas HQ tomorrow. God, I hate this place. I mean, look, I can't blame you for hating Pandora. Yeah. It is a shit. But at the same time, that it's not Pandora's fault. The people who ordered all of that and made it happen didn't even live on, pa like, weren't even on Pandora. Like, that is purely your company's fault that that happened. Like, all right, let's go see if we can kill this guy without before we lose our shield. Because if we can do that, then it's easy sailing for the last couple of challenges that are uh, in this area. Now, to be fair, we are level 7 now, so we are a higher level, and we like, you know, didn't really... Uh, it wasn't really all that difficult to kill him last time. We tore through him pretty well. But this time, I'm going to switch out my sniper rifle for this thing because uh, it's a shock method which should tear through a shield pretty good once I find them but yeah so the uh, the challenge to kill him without using the jump pads is apparently a uh, kind of a one and done because you have to use jump pads to get up there and then it's registered that you've used the jump pad so you know, maybe he isn't going to respawn until like I do the next quest or something because I know he does respawn but I'm not seeing him so he may just not be here right now Because he doesn't do the intro every time. It's just a. Uh, he's just there. But yeah, I don't see him, so. It must have to do with. Uh, doing the next part of the quest, which is fine. I mean, I guess we'll switch this back to my rifle then. Sense that's going to be more useful at the moment, theoretically, anyway. Woo! But yeah, 
yeah, so that's why killing him without using a jump pad, like I said, is kind of a one and done until you go into true Vault Hunter mode, or if you're in ultimate Vault Hunter mode and reset your quest, then you can do it, that, or reset your progress, and you can do it that way. Um, but thankfully we already got that one, so like I said, once uh, he respawns, so I guess you won't see me doing that one. Because um, yeah, once he respawns, I should be able to knock that out fairly easily. I am curious why he didn't respawn there, if it has something to, like, if it is the quest, or... Two ammo per shot, but it is doing 61 damage. And my fucking inventory is full again, Jesus Christ. Because I am keeping this one... Jacobs here, which is doing 33, so technically two shots from this one is better than one shot from that one, but... Just get rid of the white ones for now. Green ones. Torque and another scab. Warning zero atmosphere environment. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was gonna say that I should be back to uh these oxygen geysers will refill your Oz kit. Just step into one and take a deep whiff. Huh. Huh. Yes. The slam. The slam works. There is another uh, challenge, though, to uh, which is melee damage on. Uh, while in the air, which is why I was trying to do that. Uh, she does, Nisha does have a skill that allows her, that increases her melee damage, so. Potentially, because uh, we can reset our skill points, I think, once we reach Concordia. station is way over there. We got last quest there. Her inventory is fucking full. So annoying. Even just like hunting the Kragons there to get like the same attacks and whatnot, waiting for the Sonic one, which was a reference to Sonic the Hedgehog in case he missed it. Sonic the Kragon, and he was blue. And every time you hit him, you drop money, just like Sonic drops coins, and then you kill him, it's like a big burst. For each unit of O2, you have 104, which is significantly less, but it's almost worth it. Actually, you know what? I think it is worth it. Because I don't think... Yeah, and then that's just O2 canisters healing as well. I'd rather have the increased gun damage. Now, there is other ones that are... Better and worse that than that. Was that was colony way back. But then the crackening happened. Lava erupting everywhere had them buggering off pretty quick. They left whole factories here to rot. Equipment just lying around. After a few years, the first fleet arrived. It wasn't the first one here, but that's what they called it. People started living here again. Maybe living's an overstatement. But people are here, amongst everything else. No one really knows why the crackening happened. But most people you run into will say Dahl caused it. Extracting minerals or something. I don't know. I guess stories don't have to be true to be believed. They just have to be told. And I tell that one a lot. Yeah, that's true enough. I mean, to be fair, there's two things that a story needs to be believed. Which is to be told, and for the other person not to care if it's true or not. 
like you see it a lot with uh with internet stories especially when it's like about like a specific person like a celebrity politician what have you whatever right somebody that people know um you see stories about them all the time that just straight up are Um, and not because, like, oh, there we go. Good lord. Um, but not because, like, oh, it must be true or anything, but just because, you know, people don't care enough to look into it. And I mean, some stories aren't really, like, easy to look into. Like, for example, there was one, and I still don't know whether or not it's true, it was about Sean Bean. How there was, like, a, uh, he was at a bar or something, and this guy was, uh, being a dick. I think it was, like, being a dick to a woman or something, I don't know. But he, like, went outside with him, the guy stabbed him, and he still beat him beat him up or whatever, knocked him the fuck out after the guy stabbed him, and then he just went in and ordered a beer instead of going to the hospital or anything, and it's like, is that story true? I mean, there isn't really anything, like, completely unbelievable about it, but at the same time, if it isn't true, how are you going to know without just asking Sean Bean himself, right? He may be dead, but it's like he knows what you're going to do next. Okay. This is the last will and testament of Tom Thorson, doll captain. Deadlift scabs are boarding my ship as I speak. Whoever finds this echo, please find it in your heart to honor a doomed man's last wishes. Just press the next message button when you're ready. Sounds weird. I'm into it. Thanks. First off, I need you to inform Colonel Zarpadon of my death. Plug this echo recorder into a transmitter and convey the message. Okay. Warning, oxygen levels at Good half. lord, our next, like, uh, challenge thing is super far away. Alright, let's sit here for a second and see where the hell it is we're going. Way over there. Alright, well that's the direction we were going anyway, so... I guess we'll just keep going that way. I wonder how many badass criminals I need to defeat, and if it would be easier, better for me to actually, like, get my other viewers involved. Because, like, I do believe that the more people, the higher the chances that a badass will spawn, right? So I want to grind that out. Probably not worth it to grind it out right now, considering that I'll probably still be fighting a lot of Kragons for quite some time. Okay, well, it's all fucking green now. 65 and 73, probably not going to get better. Probably, or probably don't have anything that's worth less than that in my inventory. God, I feel like in the first quarter, and probably in two, uh, that they had the, uh, the vending machines, like, way better. Like, I know in one, there was a couple areas where I had to run back to get it, to get them, but I don't think that there was any gaps nearly this big, right? Yep. Crygons, apparently. Uh, oh, there's a Crygons there, too. Time for justice! <laughs> I also noticed a few times while I was uh, killing things that I was doing like 
getting kills in the air, doing damage while airborne and whatnot, even without jumping. Just from like the attacks hitting me, it would like bounce me just that little bit in the air as I was shooting them. So like I was technically airborne when they died. Which is kind of weird. That they uh survive Craig and Pass, big deal. I'll do you to come over here and try that crap. Get over here so we can avenge Deadlift in a sick ass spacesuit. Okay. Maybe that's why they uh don't respawn them right away. I don't know. I mean, either way, he would have to be dead by the time he got old. Although, you could probably run past him after you kill him the first time, so maybe that's why they don't respawn him right away, just because then that guy wouldn't make sense. If, like, you killed him, went back, he respawned, and then you left him alive, and then it's like, but he's back there. What makes it weird, though, is that this game would do something so that it, you know, to make sure that something else in it made sense. Like, that just seems unlikely. Like I said, I, I did want to do two playthroughs of this. I did not want to do my second one as Claptrap. Or Athena or Wilhelm. I wanted to do my second one as the Doppelganger. But there's uh, no achievement tied to the Doppelganger. Or, uh... oh fuck me, what the hell's her name? I remembered it a while ago, because I know that I couldn't think of it before, and now I can't think of it again, but I swear, in between those two brain parts, I did remember her name. Hammerlock's wife, whatever her name is. Um, or her, because they were DLC ones. So what I might do is start my playthrough as a doppelganger and do that. And just, at some point, because there is a, uh, a raid boss that's level 30, which means that by the time I care, by the time I'm close to getting the rest of the achievements, I should be well past it. Um, should be able to kill it by myself easily enough because the max level in this game is 70. Remember me. Um so what I might do is once I get to a high enough level and can just tear through it um just use my second account, bring a character in, fucking kill it over and over again with the other character present. Just so that it, uh, they get the experience and then they can, then I can power level them and then I can use them to power level a claptrap, which I realize sounds really roundabout. Where's the other guy? There he is. 
Oh. Okay, well, I don't know. There's somebody over there. Where'd you go, though? Oh, you got closer. You got further. Already got a challenge done. Do da do da. Unfortunately, I still need to slam a bunch for that one, but you know, still. Uh, what is all oh, right? Melee damage. Um, let's see. elemental loot money health. And, what the hell? Up one to exam. Oh, revive co-op partner. Get second ones by killing badass enemies. Oh, look at that. I didn't even... I know what I thought was a badass Kragon that I did that in. I just didn't even realize. Without using the scope iron sight. So that's not that hard. Second wins with sniper rifles, on the other hand. The only problem with the second wins one is, obviously, as you get second wins, you go down faster and faster. And, uh... Oh, there it is. Uh, only 25, that's not bad. So obviously that one's kind of harder to grind out, but if you don't care about losing money, then you can still do it, because you can just go down in like, well, like, you know, like I could just go to where there's a bunch of like little crag ons right? Okay, where the fuck is this crate that I can't see? Really? Oh my god. And I think this guy fucked up my first jump. Oh god. Carry me upside down. Why are you a witch? That was a thing they did with witches, right? To bury them upside down. That was really what that was. Like, what the hell was that? I don't even know. I think he was saying something before he did it. <laughs> He's just like, what the fuck? Thorson's fate, Vault Hunter. Though you will not have my mercy, you do have my respect. Oh, okay. Once you've told the Colonel of my death, I'd like you to avenge me. It looks like Squad, Deadlift's lieutenant, is boarding my ship right now. Squad. If you could track him Deadlift, down and really? kill him, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that it should be too hard. Also, let's see. Where are we on the map? What are we looking for? Yeah, somewhere over here. Is that him right there? Yeah, it is. Get it up! Ben in the hell! That's the killing squad. Jeez, I can hear it now. Okay, final request. I need you to find a guy named Nell. And what? A 
kind of need a little bit more than that. Just, you know. Okay, apparently one of the, uh... Trap trap boxes is around here. Um, that's unfortunate that there's no oxygen thing up there. But whatever. This one is. It's uh, supposed to be up there somewhere, but not on that side of the building is the only thing. Okay, yep. on. Maybe I should have kept that uh, other oxygen thingy. But I don't know. as well. Okay, is there like another air bubble or something closer? still keeping my I'll keep the TD or one just because I need that if I want some of the uh, Come back. challenges there's a couple different ones that are specific to TD or weapons which is same as the slams damage and uh, kills with it ignore that just smack it Kill some kragans while you're out there. I'm looking to make some corpse jewelry out of them. Some corpse jewelry. Uh uh. Let's go ghost green. Why not? Make sure to stop by. I got something that'll get you into Concordia. Maybe you can find your signal there and get back to your ruddy huge space station. Okay. Well, you know what? I was hoping that this would actually let me. Get up there, but this is not the thing that I thought it was. There is another one that you can spawn 
that's uh, like a hover one. That's pretty cool. Uh, pretty fragile from what I remember, but still pretty cool. Okay, up there. Up there. Here. Warning, oxygen levels at 50% and dropping. This thing, no, it's not gonna let me do that. Damn it. Yeah. Just hoping that I can see the vault symbol from there. Nope. And now I'm gonna start suffocating. That's fine. I have more than enough health to make it. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the thing I'm looking at, I, I like, it has like a map, but it's not really giving me very specific details. But let's go across this way and look at what's across this way. We killed some dudes over there, but we didn't actually go over to see what they had with them, had on them, if anything. Yep. TP units have a unique failsafe that prevents them from being tampered with. Yeah, yeah, but for like bandits and stuff, but not other Hyperion personnel. Including other Hyperion personnel. Just feel lucky you didn't pick the one that spontaneously combusted, or you'd have more than a migraine from too much base. Thanks for all your help, Docket. That guy. If I can't get rid of Claptrap's dance protocols, I'll have to work around him. Hey! Angel. Yes, Jack. Run an analysis on how many subroutines we'd have to include to minimize the potential that my prototype won't drop what he's doing and sing karaoke. Well, that's one of the four of those. There's some boxes up there. Think Tell him he's know. a dick. Dead guy says you're a dick. that. Sorry I can't give you a reward, but, you know, I'm dead. Still, thanks. Vault Hunter, I want to thank you for fulfilling Captain Thorson's last wishes. Head to the following coordinates. Yeah, this isn't gonna be a trap at yep. all. Warning, air reserves at 50%. Uh-huh. when I was running around uh, before, even though I was constantly air boosting, I still wasn't running out of oxygen as fast as I now. I know I have 50 less, but I mean, it's again, I'm not even air boosting, so. I mean, where exactly does she want me to go? Like, up here, maybe? Oh. Uh, My yeah. man hid this weapon stash months ago. You can have them until I take them back. Okay. Scab with Jacobs. 33% critical hit damage. That's pretty good, actually. Because I do try and go for the crit. But I'll just stick with what I got for right now since 
while I do go for the crits, they're obviously no not guaranteed in this way. Alright. Let's see. Regular range. Chatterbox thing. Get in here while I look it up. Uh, okay. I see. That's kind of annoying. This map I'm looking at is not correct. To say the least. This other first one is actually back here somewhere. There it is. Oh man, I am so late! No, son of a Hey! You! Yeah, yeah, claptrap unit! Who? Uh, me, sir? Oh no, I'm sorry. The other Hyperion piece of metal crap that can open doors for me. I'm sorry. I can do more than open doors, sir. We co 4 ptp units can be programmed to do anything, from open doors to ninja assassinate highly important janitorial officials. Yeah, 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 just... Wait, you can actually do that? Sightly! I once staged a revolution myself. There were lots of guns and a lot of dying. You'd think I would have at least gotten some better benefits out of the whole thing, but no! Demoted back to door opening servitude. Yeah, 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 got it. Just shut up and open the door. I'm late for the quarterly meeting. Sure thing, sir. And open! Have a lovely afternoon, and thank you for using Hyperion Robot Services. Let me know if you have any other portal-rific needs. Oh, I will. I most certainly will. Attention, breathable atmosphere. Yeah, so... <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess we did reprogram that claptrap and not kill it, right, at the end of that. Although it is funny that that's, like, that, that these things are obviously the stories of the different Vault Hunters that you can play as in this game. So it is kind of funny that, you know, that's the claptrap character that you play as. Jack? What is it, Angel? There are too many variables to allow for a complete overhaul of the prototype systems. You may just have to settle for a flawed product. Or try a different model. Claps are outdated by three generations with marked improvements. Now that's not the point. The newer versions don't have the space or flexibility I need to make this work. I need someone that can think for themselves but can't disobey an order. Like say, uh, don't open your presents until mercenary day. Sorry. Perhaps if you rerouted some of the L cache and bypassed memory sequencing. Yeah, I. Well, hey, that might actually work. I mean, he'd lose most of his memories, but come on, <laughs> it's just a robot. It's not like he has feelings or anything. Booting sequence complete. Hello, I am your new steward bot. Designation CL4PTP, Hyperion Robot Class C. Please adjust factory settings to meet your needs before deployment. Finally, can you hear me? What do you remember? Yes, remember what? Are, are you my father? Uh, no. Uh, you... Are you God? Am I dead? No, 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 you're not dead, you're... I'm dead, I'm dead, oh my God, I'm dead! You are not dead. Now shut the hell up. Your new designation is FR4GTP, Frag Trap. You are a merciless killing machine. Got it? Okay, thanks for giving me a second chance, God. I really appreciate it. What? Oh, no, you are so stupid. Stupid. Whatever. You're welcome. Okay. So that's those. So our last challenge that we can get in this area, anyway, is the uh, the last cult symbol, which is over here somewhere. Now it does say it's up on this buttress here, and that we need to navigate. <laughs> Yeah. This place to get to. Warning, oxygen levels at half. I don't know where on this thing it is. Uh-huh. Uh 
Oh my god, really? It's, uh... I don't know why they said to map not to do that. It's right there. Got it. And they were telling me to fucking use the building to get to it. Why would you use the building? It's so much easier to do it just from the uh huh. Okay. What does that say? No refunds? Oh, okay. Apparently, A does that. Survive. That was me high fiving myself. They're looking for me, so I gotta go radio silent. Find the jamming signal, shut it down, and return to Helios. Okay. I don't know why it took so long to get back to me. Wow, these things I got don't... the right away. The uh fucking vehicle isn't nearly as overpowered as it was in the, look uh, at that. other games. Like damn. Like, although to be fair, I don't remember how powerful the moonstone. Really? A regular crag on? Look at that. I did get another one, I think. Yeah, that, so that gives me two from the uh, one of the badass cragons that I killed. Uh, we'll get a lot more of those later well throughout the game in general but uh yeah definitely later just because like, there's a few different ways to get them and i think they'll they drop from bosses a lot i think gotta jump here I heard you robbed six banded camps in a convent. Is that true? In my defense, those nuns were dicks. I mean, nuns can be dicks. I mean, they are human after all. So this should actually lead us back to another, uh, Yeah, back to that other door in Serenity's place. Pick up Orbitron. Oh, right, the thing that we need to actually get into uh, Concordia. Alright, so let's go turn this in and then we'll end the part. Since we're already over an hour, actually. Thanks to that stupid fucking map that I was looking at. I hate it when people get lazy. The stuff in Serenity's Waste, it not only had, like, the location on the map, but when you clicked on it, it told you, like, it gave you more of, like, where it was. Good and then to that see one you. is just like, Here, yeah. take this. It's an Orbitron. It'll get you into Concordia. The nasty ender, eh? Got a job? All right. Just jump Electric that crack with your vehicle kill. and you'll be well on your way to Concordia. Once you get there, you should be able to find your jamming signal, or whatever you said. I'll meet you there later. No, and thanks. Seems excessive, but I like his energy. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Uh, quest. So, I locked some of my stuff in a safe to keep it out of Deadlift's hands. Now that he's dead, you're going to open the safe for me. Here, follow me. I mean, we may as well do this one, right? I hate kragans. What the hell is this thing up overhead? I don't know. Anyway, hey, you gonna... No? Really, no. Well, you know what I can do, though? I'll do this. Because I had to do this once before on... Wilhelm, maybe? When I was doing the, uh... 
the quest there. I because I did do a couple of side quests with them just to get like a because obviously they love you up. But I did the whole jumping and taking the pictures and whatnot, and I still accepted the one to go and hang them up. But for some reason, she decided to stand when she was handing me the clipboard. She decided to stand at the fast travel station and put her hand through it so I could actually pick it up. Uh, let's see. Releases rapidly. Must fully recharge between Novas. I mean, it's a significantly worse shield than I have. Oh, and I can't pick it up anyway. My inventory's full. Alright, that one. The ordinary rifle is what I'm keeping. Meteor. And then I should also use that. Unfortunately, I forgot the combo to my safe, so you're just gonna have to open it up the fun way. That shield will be your lockpick. Okay, and where exactly is? Uh, that's back in regolith range, though. All right. Well, obviously we're not doing that. Acquire or destroy the light reactor. And where is this one? Okay, that's across the gap, so I won't need to worry about accidentally doing that one. <laughs> Alright, so that'll be it for this part. Next time, uh, we'll do these quests here that we got, and then we should be able to head into Concordia. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time for more.